The Landscape Architecture Program at RMIT University was invited by Grand Designs to be a part of the exhibition Grand Designs Live at the exhibition buildings in Melbourne. As a major industry event, the students really enjoyed engaging with industry, but also engaging with specific people in industry. The students really enjoyed getting fantastic feedback from Kevin McLeod and Peter Madison. The project challenged students to design innovative landscape works, and this was specifically attuned to the fact that the exhibition was indoor, and so it actually gave us a chance to think about how do you design a landscape for an indoor environment. Our project is an archway for housing our ferns, and it was informed by a study of the gill, um, and we looked at the structure of a gill and what it could provide in terms of housing the fern and how to accommodate them. What informed our design was using the rules of a spiral, and in this case, we used the Fibonacci sequence. And it just shows how you could use something simple to generate a very complex structure. Uh, our project's called Imposter, and um, it's based around the geometrical patterns that uh, come into play when bubbles form and become a foam. We made the pieces, and then we tested out what sort of spaces we could create. So we wanted a space where you could walk around, sit down, and view the planting which we put on which was informed by the lighting which in, uh, informed the intense amount of growth on the different areas of the space that we've created. This was also a, a wonderful um, event to actually challenge and celebrate the students' capabilities through design and specifically taking on board some of the things that we offer at RMIT such as rapid prototyping, 3D modelling and the simulating and testing. The exhibition was a great opportunity for RMIT students to exhibit their work to the public, but perhaps even more importantly, it was a way for the students to kind of understand how the public engage with their work. So often you create things in Rhino and you don't ever get to see them made and you never really get to think about whether or not it actually can be made. So to actually sit in the space and experience it all and see if it's working or failing. It's the best thing ever to see. Previously we used to use a lot of paperwork and like AutoCAD and we used to see it virtually but this is actually on the ground stuff and the fabrication of something is very important I think as a designer. And we will do one-to-one one -one model. I really learned a lot of things uh, from uh, other people in other group from our teacher and from the guys in the workshop. It's been very frustrating and a lot of hours gone in but um, it's been great to work in a group because uh, everyone brings different ideas and techniques and um, I think together we've achieved something that we really could never have done on our own.